Hey loves, Mahania here. It was requested that I show how I removed the rings from my Agenda 52 planner cover in order for it to fit my mini happy planner. If you're interested in seeing what I did, stay tuned. So here is the inside of my cover and I do have a hole here as you can see but it doesn't bother me at all. This was a six ring binder. I removed the rings. I was asked on Instagram how I removed the rings so that's why I'm doing this video. I went back to Hobby Lobby and I picked up another binder but this time in the A5 size. The structure is exactly the same except for the size. So I'm going to remove the rings from this binder right now. So what you are going to need is an X-Acto knife, a hot glue gun, and some type of elastic or strip of fabric, washi tape, whatever you like to use, but I feel this will be more durable to cover up the slit that we're going to make. What I noticed with the Agenda 52 planners is that there is a piece of cardboard that runs along the spine. So we are just simply going to slice it down the spine. Now that we are zoomed in, you're just simply going to take your X-Acto knife about a half an inch above the first rivet. You're going to insert your X-Acto knife and you just want to run it down. Be very gentle so you don't go through the back of the planner cover. And we are just going to simply slice down. Okay. Let's see here. Now you're going to pry it up a little bit. There's still a little fabric under the rivet or bracket. So I'm just going to slice that a little bit more. Just loosen it up around that bracket. And you want to pull towards you. And so it's a metal piece in this one. It was cardboard in the smaller one, but as you can see, there's a little metal brace here to give the spine structure. And then I am just cutting the slit right here so that the fabric will let go of this bracket here or rivet. Let me know in the comment section below if you know the proper name for this little piece. And there we go. Oops. And these rings are in excellent condition. If you are a crafter who makes your own planners and you want to place these in another planner, then you can definitely do so. So now we're going to cover up this opening. You're going to take your hot glue gun and just squeeze it right down the middle and then fold your planner cover and you just want to press that down and hold it in place while it dries so now you can take the fabric of your choice I'm actually going to add a pop of color the brightness is really not showing up well on camera, but it is a beautiful pink. And I picked this up at Joann's. So now that I've measured the pink out, I'm going to trim it. I'm going to add some more hot glue.
and place my fabric down and you want to make sure that it glues to both sides of the opening so that you can secure it make sure that that gash or that slit is closed and allow it to dry just going to cut this off right here Get some sharper scissors And there we go. Now to add my planner. I'm definitely going to change the disc out. These are the medium discs. I will be going back up to the expander disc now. So it fits in there nicely. And I'll have enough room for my page markers. I will definitely be adding patches and glamming this planner up. So be sure to be following me on Instagram so that you can see those photos. I will be posting them there. And I will also post pictures once I put my planner back together because I have it separated, like I said, to fit into the smaller cover. So I'll give you updates on Instagram. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Extravaglam. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Or you can email me, extravaglam at gmail.com. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.